have I got something amazing that I just witnessed. And I want to share it with you guys right now. Let's get into it. This is the Civil War of 1863, but in virtual reality. And I'll spin it around to the emergency so you guys can see what it was like. Three years of bloody Let's get into it. When opposing armies were in close proximity, the soldiers built extensive fortifications for protection. All right, so let's see. Snipers on All right, we're starting on the Confederate side. side. Some sharpshooters. Oh, snap. Consistent sniper fire kept tensions high. Sharpshooters stood ready to pick up off something, whatever. Good shot on the Union. Some ammo boxes and glass, it looks like. This guy over here looks like he's checking for lice. That was a really big thing in the revolution or during the Civil War. All right, now we're over on, okay, yep, we're still on the Confederate side, on the Confederacy. This looks like he's writing a letter to their family, to his family probably. Oh, and we're still over. All right, this guy is going to be, all right, you can see his sharp, he's getting ready to fire his musket. He's using his hat as bait, which is actually really smart, to be honest. Oh. An average rifle bullet traveled 950 feet per second. That is a fast for a, that's fast for a musket bullet. Whew. The attack on the Union line of 1864. By 1864, Civil War armies regularly employed trench warfare. Sniper fire and probing attacks kept soldiers alert and on edge. Each day, Okay, so now we're on the we're in the Union Trench right now. Oh Jesus! Oh God, a man just got wounded. I think they just got him with a cannon. See. Sometimes soldiers could see cannonballs hurtling towards them. Damn, I bet. It was very difficult to load a Civil War musket without standing up. Is loading it right now. Oh, gonna fire. Oh yeah, he's loading it. Looks like he's getting ready to... The post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, was unknown during the Civil War. That is a very fascinating fact, actually. The bugle sound is sounding ceasefire. That's a... You, you, you can barely see him making him out through the smoke, but that's a Union lieutenant. Enemy fire often ignited items in the trenches for blinding smoke. All right, so now we're going to be on patrol with, I believe, the Confederacy. 1964, many Civil War soldiers fought from the protection of extensive fortifications. Even dangerous assignments outside of the trenches could break the ever-present monotony. A Confederate major with his slave in tow All right. issues one such order. The girl wants to know what's going on with the Yankee lines. I'll get it and get back to you immediately. Yes, sir. Okay, it looks like we're going, looks like the Confederacy is going out on patrol to capture Union forces. But don't go hunting Yankees. Get out there and check the Yankee lines. Oh, they were using young teenage boys to, to in the Confederate Army. That's actually really interesting. All right, so it looks like we're walking on foot. So now we're going into the Union Patrol of 1864. Leo, here now. There's the Union Lieutenant giving, writing down a message for orders. Some more ribs about 
Troop strength. This one is a non-commissioned officer. Take Leo and this one right here. The one with the blue arrows. Scout. Scout's on it. Alright. You can even see a sword. That's so awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's got a canteen. He's bringing the canteen with him with water, which is very smart. Very smart indeed. One union officer, one union, union soldier was taking a nap, and then he gets woken up by uh, one of his men, I think, kicking a, a type of bucket. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, looks like they... Union corpses are a recent engagement between the lines. We get into those more woods. We're gonna catch some reps. What's about you? Take a sip if you got it. Skirmishers, online. Forward. March. See to these men. See to this officer, one of y'all. Okay, now we're now with the Confederacy. Some Confederate uniforms were made of jean cloth and rough. Now that's interesting. I did not know that actually. That is a very fascinating fact that they were made out of some Confederate uniforms were made out of jean cloth. That is actually a very fascinating fact. Looks like a wounded northerner left behind. Oh, shit. Damn, it's going down. All right. Got the muskets ready. All right, moving out. See his U.S. belt. His U.S. belt buckle too. Oh! Oh snap! I think that was a Confederate officer that just got killed. Actually, I think he dropped his pistol too. Or his uh, 63 revolver. Let's see. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of PTSD just watching this. All right, the hospital, the Union Hospital, 1864. So what are we at? Oh shit! Oh, he's got a really bad leg wound. He must have. Oh, oh, there's a surgeon right there. A surgeon. There's a a, a nurse right there. Those women over there, those are helpers, like nurses and stuff. That's a really bad leg wound, though. Holy man. Right there, looks like he's got some head head trauma. <laughs> hey, 
anesthesia was was off was often used by was often used but not always. Stewards bringing the patient out of surgery, all right? Oh, unfortunately, that soldier did not make it through surgery. That looks like the guy that has a leg injury. It looks like he's going into surgery right now. Nighttime. Roughly 2% of the United States population, uh, some 620,000 men lost their lives in the line of duty. Taken as percentage of today's population, the toll would be more than 6 million. Jesus, that's interesting. Holy cow. That was amazing. Let me know what you think. If you want to see me react to more of these, I will be more than happy to. If I can find a revolutionary war, um, virtual reality one, I will, if I can, and I will do a video on that. But anyways, we'll see you later in the next one.